Tonight, we begin a week-long series on growth in our region. Most city planners agree growth is good, but often it can be painful for those not prepared. The Boise metro area, which is, includes Ada, Boise, Canyon, Gem, and Oahe counties, is now, get this, one of the top 20 fastest growing areas in the country. Population grew by nearly 2.5% between 2015 and 2016. And since 2006, the metro area has grown by almost 21%. So we wanted to find out how is all of this growth affecting students and education in the Treasure Valley? Our Morgan Boydston joins us now with the answers. Well, school district officials tell me student enrollment growth is related in some degree to availability of affordable housing for families. Districts in areas where there's a lot of available land are experiencing notable increases in students. I compared enrollment growth between 2010 and 2016 in these six districts. You can see Valley View grew the most in those six years while Nampa's enrollment actually decreased. For this story, I'm highlighting the fastest growing district, Valley View, and the largest school district in the state, none other than West Ada, and looking at how growth is impacting schools and students. An average day for Eagle High science teacher Misty Sturk. Imagine getting 10 students in here to measure. Consists of setting up and teaching labs for her honors and college level classes. So this is just for tomorrow. Lecturing, grading papers, and building relationships with students, but in a growing, overcrowded school. I feel like I'm not always able to do that with so many kids. And that makes me sad. Her day to day has changed. It takes me a little bit longer to grade. And now, since my classes are so large, I have 216 students, I have to edit some of the labs that might not be safe for that many students in a class. So I feel like when I have that many, I don't always get to meet their needs. Eagle is one of four high schools in the state's largest school district that are over capacity. Growth is the story of West Ada. With nearly 39,000 students spread across 55 schools. A couple thousand more and will be one of the 100 largest school districts in the country. A school district with 14,000 proposed home sites currently in some phase of construction in its 384 square mile boundary. People say, so where is growth the highest? Everywhere. High school is definitely not the only level impacted by a rapidly growing area. Issues at all levels. West Ada spokesperson Eric Exline says the district sees about a thousand new kids per year on average. So that makes for very cramped hallways and classrooms at the beginning of the school year. Well, that's not acceptable. So Exline says in the past and the future, the solution to deal with that growth is to build new schools regularly. So you have to go out to voters, ask them to pass bond measures. And hire between 200 to 300 new teaching staff members every year. You get these sort of overcrowding moments where they get way over until you can pass a bond and, and get a school built. Exline doesn't believe the overcrowding issues will get worse necessarily unless the rate of development skyrockets. But the issues will continue as more and more farm fields are developed. When those are all homes, and they will be, all the comprehensive plans tell you that that's what's going to happen. The in-between issues of how do you deal with overcrowded schools, you move portables in, sometimes you put kids honestly in odd teaching locations. Something that affects students' school experience. You're a ping pong ball in a tin can, right? There is no quiet place. There is no calm. Several miles west in Canyon County. We're busting out the seams really. The rural Valley View School District with record enrollment of nearly 8,800 students is struggling to keep up to what was expansive farmland now becoming land developed. A subdivisions pop up enrollment is expected to soar in a couple years from about 250 new kids per year to about 500. So we got to have a place to put those kiddos as they're building the houses and moving here. Gearing instruction toward each student's individual needs has become a difficult task. Our students' education is affected when there's too many students per teacher. Spokesperson Joey Palmer says overcrowding at elementary and high schools has been alleviated by two new schools that opened just in the last two years. But now, a new side effect of growth has popped up. We are inundated at the middle school level. They have to build another middle school, Palmer says, in a district where nine of 13 schools are Title I and have high numbers of children from low-income families, 
Valley View is waiting until March of 2019 to ask voters to help them out. We're worried about voter fatigue. West Ada, too, mulling over running a bond in March 2018 to build a new high school. They're also looking at building a new elementary school and expanding on a couple current schools. To keep up with the growth, many districts across the valley consistently ask their voters to pass plant facility levies that take care of capital improvement projects, building maintenance, and operation as well as supplemental levies for supplies and curriculum needs. They should be called essential levies. We need them, otherwise we're in dire straits. District officials say the plus side to Valley View and West Ada growing is the value of property and their boundaries is growing in unison. Growth does help pay for itself because you can run bonds without the levy rate going up. And that's part of the reason the West Ada School District isn't planning to split. If they did, the cost of bonds for new schools would be spread over smaller property tax bases. So the tax levy rate could go up and voters may be less likely to say yes to creating a new district. A strong economy and booming housing market reflected daily in classrooms across the Treasure Valley. As long as the economy is good, as long as this is a nice place to live, people will keep coming. I wish it was more controlled growth because it's hard to plan after you have the students show up. Because of their size, West Ada and Boise are able to offer a range of specialty courses like pre-engineering and nursing. So while growth is a challenge and many districts do struggle to keep up, there are advantages. Mm -hmm. That teacher, Misty, she was yeah. emotional yeah. about this. I mean, obviously this affects her. Yeah. What about Boise School District, Morgan? Are we overcrowded in the Boise School District? Yeah, so Boise is still growing. I, sh I popped that graph up earlier, and here's another graph. The superintendent published this on their website. It shows that in the early 2000s, Boise's enrollment shrank as West Ada's exploded due to families moving out west into the suburbs, obviously in search of affordable housing. Uh, the district spokesman says some schools in the Boise School District are growing at a steady rate and manageable rate, while others have flat to no growth. Uh, there's no new construction in Southeast Boise, so the district is adding on to Timberline High School right mm -hmm. now, and they're also planning to build another new elementary school in Harris Ranch. That's right. Boise is pretty much built mm -hmm. out, and so you have to go west right. or south. Again, this is the first part of our five-part series on growth that's going to deal with, as you saw tonight, education, also mm -hmm. transportation, the housing market, mm -hmm. and eventually crime. So stay with us all week long as we continue our series on growth.